Righty oh, hello. Uh, welcome back to another video. This time we're doing some Battlefield 5 and we're running through a pipe. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for joining me this afternoon and I um, hope you're all keeping well. Uh, yeah, thought I'd shake it up a little bit and it was a suggestion as well. Can we do a little bit of Battlefield 5 because currently they've got Frontlines, Rush and Domination servers available. So I think on console you can like quick search them. On PC, if you go into the advanced search option, you'll be able to find them there as well. Uh, there's only a couple of servers. I mean, on PC, and I'll chat about it later in the video, um, it is a little bit difficult. But yeah, I just thought I'd bring you this first bit. It's just on front lines. We're just capping the last the last like MCOM stations. We've pushed, we've pushed the enemy back on Twisted Steel. It's a pretty straight line on front lines for, for, for Twisted Steel. It's quite... Uh, Quite basic, but I, I never knew about those pipes. There's like three of them you can run through. Uh, the first one to take you sort of through the bridge, this side. So instead of running over the top, I didn't encounter any resistance as well. So keep it in mind. So yeah, we've got some mad lads here. You can whip out the pistol briefly. <laughs> and we've got a tank behind us as well. So this bit, I'm just trying to do seven things at once. Yeah, I don't really stream a lot of Battlefield 5 or do much of Battlefield 5. Um, I, f I find it um, I find it good, but I can find... I, I always find I'm playing the same maps, like Twisted Steel. I think I play this every time I come on. Um, or Narvik. I don't know why. I always play Narvik. But um, the the domination maps and stuff, they, they let me... Uh, there's a couple of like smaller designed maps. I mean, there's even there's even one from um, uh, Firestorm as well, Lof Lofton Islands, I think it is. But I, I, I've seen it once. I got on it for about 30 seconds. I think the uh, thumbnail will be a picture from it. Yeah, I was there for like 30 seconds, but I haven't managed to get back in it because uh, yeah, I really wanted to um, really wanted to play that. So I think it's the closest I'm going to get to Firestorm. So I did have a cheeky click of Firestorm. I was sat waiting for a game. I think I gave up after seven minutes. So, PC. But possibly on console, especially where this is now in the Game Pass as well. You'll probably, uh, you'll probably be able to find a lot more people, in fact. So, I've just planted B as well. And we're just PTFO and like, that's sort of my, my style. I love, I, I will throw myself onto the objectives. Sometimes to a detriment of like my kills and stuff, because I will just throw myself at it but yeah the second part of this video this is this is sort of this clip here has sort of come to an end we did um did rush an operation uh under, over, underground overground <laughs> i was thinking of the london overground for a second operation metro sorry or operation underground i don't know what it's called in this one but um, yeah, we we do a bit of rush on that. I haven't played rush in ages, and I do enjoy it. And that used to be the main game mode, rush. I mean, Battlefield Bad Company, one and two. That was the that was the game mode. You did have like rush and uh, you, I think you had domination and team deathmatch as well. But yeah, rush. It was all about the MCOM stations. So, what sort of are we uh ah oh, yeah. So this bit is like the final final push. Is this where I... Yeah, this is a weird spawn. Yeah. Boop. <laughs> Classic Battlefield spawn there. <laughs> Luckily, my uh, my teammate will pick me up in a second. So, yeah, hopefully you're all doing well for this uh, festive period. I've, I've just finished work for a week. So, expect more videos. Uh, we're going to do some live streams. There's even going to be a Christmas Day live stream in the evening. Uh, I've got a game picked out for that. The last two years, we've done... Uh, fishing simulator that was lovely had a good old chin wag on that and then uh, i played a game from devolver digital called inscription it's like a card based kind of game it was interesting i think it requires multiple playthroughs to really like unlock the the meat of the game but it was uh yeah it was fun i just killed captain bird's eye there game over for him Trying to put some smoke down, but I think I called in an artillery strike earlier. 
There we go. There we have it. So we're going to move on to Operation Underground. Overground Metro. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> I like what they did with this map on this one. I didn't. Um, I, I wasn't playing Battlefield 5 when they when they released this. So I've only played it after the fact. And yeah, I enjoy it. I enjoy it. It's, it's what it is, isn't it? It's, it's um, rather rather chaotic. But we get a good little run. I, f I find with Rush, you need a good good fast start. If you get bogged down, the defenders are, are going to win. I was pretty sure I could hear people. There we go. Cleared it out. Chickened out a bit. Because I still thought there was someone above me. I'll hop up here. Have a little look around. We're all good. This is the scariest part. I can see these people running towards me. And I'm trying to jump out the window because they <laughs> put a little present down for them. But yeah, it'd be really interesting to hear your thoughts on Battlefield 5. Do you still play it regularly? I know there's one person that plays it regularly. They're going gold for the uh, jungle carbine. It's it's pretty groovy. I just got finished off by this guy. So we're going to skip forward a little bit. Objective B is destroyed. We did our job. So we're, we're now in the in the metro station, the underground station. Moving towards the next MCOMs. Now, I've, I've never... I, I've not played this on Rush, so every corner was new. Yeah, the fire effects. I mean, this game is pretty good looking. And I think it will age well. Look about for one. I mean, that age, that, that's aged like fine wine. And this de definitely does play completely different to Battlefield 1 and 2042. I'd probably say 2042 is more arcadey. Whether that's a choice or lack of time to sort of design the game. Because it was all very rushed, wasn't it? 2042. I have enjoyed it though. And I do enjoy streaming it. Um, I play it actually quite a bit. I was in I was in the top 2% of Battlefield 2042 streamers on Twitch. That was bloody magnificent. And a massive thank you to everyone stopping by. And watching the streams. I know we do a lot of different things. And uh, some things might not be to everyone's cup of tea. So we try and keep things varied. But if you have any suggestions or anything like that. If it's a game or maybe a loadout in a game. Like, oh, I'll try this weapon or, or, you know, use this equipment. I'm all ears. I'm all ears. So I didn't, I didn't know you could jump over this until I see someone do it. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> that grenade. That grenade has some bounce on it, didn't it? Yeah, I wish they'd put in a, like... A level vote like next level because you have to follow a you have to follow an order and it's just really boring because i find as well all the servers especially where they've just put these new servers in for frontlines domination rush it looks like they all came up on the same time so they're all sort of pretty much on the same map <laughs> so <laughs> like i wanted to wanted to play that Lo Loft lofton island but there was no hope in that. Because if you miss it, the four available servers on PC were all sat on the same map. And I think I would have had to play about 16 games. Overall, though, I think, um, I think the game's pretty healthy PC-wise. And I, I'm pretty sure console-wise it's even healthier. You can, if you want to play the standard modes like Conquest, you're going to find it easy to get a game. So... Yeah, I, I'd definitely say if you've got it, play it. It's it, it's, a, it's a different experience, Battlefield Five, as you guys probably know, if you have played it. Uh, some people rate it as their top game. Some people are, are, are less interested in it because it has a has a different movement system. Uh, the gunplay is good, though. I do like the gunplay. It's hard, difficult. Some of the weapons are really hard to use, but, um, you know, satisfying. One of my one of my criticisms actually of of this game is visibility. I find it so hard to see people, especially on the um, Pacific maps. I find that um, I find that quite difficult. But because I remember when this game first came out, you 
What one is it? It's the one with the church devastation. Uh, the Germans wear grey. Uh, everything's grey. And I was playing this on PlayStation 4 at the time. And I, I believe on console there's more of a, a prone meta. Or there was. With an LMG. Oh, blimey. Like every stone shot a thousand bullets at you. You just be like, oh my lord. And I think when Firestorm dropped as well. It was, it was a, it, it could be quite difficult because you might as well just prone everywhere. But yeah, they, they, I always feel with this game, a bit like 2042, it took them a year to sort everything out and then we've, we've missed out on so much good content because the, the launch was terrible. But I enjoyed this. I, I do enjoy dropping back in. Um, again, it'd be great to hear everyone's views on this game as well and they do sales for this every once in a while and i think this is where the weirdly because this was the one that had the live service i think this was the battlefield one didn't have a live service it had a premium pass now if you jump into it because all the content's dropped it's a really satisfying game but at the time it was such a drip feed yeah the tides of war that were cool i enjoy the tides of war like missions when when we were in the in the heat of it we're coming up to the end. And I think I thought you could get around the side here. But I might have been thinking about Phil Watt. <laughs> I think this house is very similar asset-wise. Um, so, yeah. I, just a massive thank you. If if I don't see you in a stream or anything like that, have a, have a wonderful holidays, if that's Christmas or whatever you're doing. Have a great time. Hopefully, you know, Santa. Santa does you good. And... Um, yeah, like I said, I'll catch you. I'll catch you guys sort of in the in the coming days. There's going to be a variety of stuff, um, not just first-person shooters. There might even be a strategy game in there as well. I'm going to try my uh, I'm going to try my hand at maybe like a top five list as well. I haven't done that yet, so that'll be coming up as well. So we're gonna we're gonna do a lot of things. So all I'd say is hit the subscribe, or if you're on Facebook or anything like that, if you find me there, hit the follow as well. Cool. Well, stay classy, and I'll, uh, I'll catch you in the next one, all right? Cheerio.